So, this is a quick overview of the golf ball throwing trebuchet that you saw in the other YouTube video that we just downloaded. Um, this is a device which is derived in large part from a bunch of work done by some kids at Tucson High School in the local Mesa Club as they got ready for their comp national competitions in uh, 2008 and 2009. Taking the device and made it larger, it's designed to shoot golf balls and uh, can shoot about 450 foot with a uh, maximum 20 pound counterweight. Like all trebuchets, it has a counterweight. This one is 4.4 pounds. Normally we'd be shooting about 20, but because we don't want to put any holes in the wall, we're down at 4.4 for an inside demonstration. So it's a little lighter than normal, but it's held by a line which runs up into the frame of the vehicle, around, back to attached to the throwing arm. And uh, you can probably see down here the attachment is close to the pivot point of the throwing arm. Now as we pull the throwing arm back, however, the line engages with some additional sprockets. If this is number one, this is then number two, and they get larger as they go out. This is number three, and by far the largest is number four. Now the difference in the length of these sprockets is actually kind of the key to the performance of this trebuchet. If they're not right, or actually if they are right, then you get extremely efficient transfer of energy from the falling counterweight to the projectile. And typically, the Tucson High kids are running with trebuchets that were upwards of about 85% efficient, which is pretty good. Once we uh, fit the projectile into the golf ball uh, pouch, we can then attach the sling to the trigger, which holds the pouch in place until uh, it allowed to release at the correct time so that uh, you get the maximum shooting trajectory. The whole thing is put down onto a platform which holds the projectile off the ground as it swings around so it doesn't hit the ground and uh, reduce efficiency. So now we're ready to go. We just have to pull the lanyard and turn the safety off. All right, we're going to have the safety off. We don't do this until you're around the side. And we launch. That's how it's done.